a junior college transfer with unlimited potential. It's one of the singular and greatest college basketball players that we've ever had, which is incredible explosion. He seemed like a man among boys. He was so big and so strong, and yet he had such great touch. With the NBA schedule just releasing and Zion Williamson about to take the NBA by storm, well, as though it seems, he's the number one overall pick, he's the most hyped player probably since LeBron James in 2003, is he going to live up to expectations? I haven't made a Zion Williamson video on this channel before, so I think it's the perfect time. Before I get into the video, if you enjoy these types of videos, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could drop a like and subscribe if you are new for weekly NBA content. And without further ado, let's get on to the video. Zion Williamson A young man entering the NBA in the 2019-2020 NBA season. The way that we're breaking down this video is we're going to talk a little bit about Zion Williamson, but we're going to talk about some comparisons and why I don't believe Zion Williamson fits any of the comparisons. And then we're going to look at the main comparison and why I believe that Zion Williamson is closest to that NBA player. His build is something we've never seen before. Being the second heaviest NBA player in the league behind Boban Marjanovic at 7'3", there's no other word to describe it but freak. Zion Williamson is a freak of nature. And people try to compare him to NBA greats. LeBron, which I don't believe there can be any comparison to LeBron James. Charles Barkley, Blake Griffin, Sean Kemp. But there's one that stands out to me far better and far greater than any other player. But when you look up Zion Williamson comparisons, all you see is Charles Barkley, Blake Griffin, LeBron James, Draymond Green. And I don't see any of those players in Zion Williamson, if I'm being honest with you. He's like Charles Barkley was, except he shoots better than Charles did. And he's not as fat. So he does remind me of Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley, yeah, it's not right exactly. I've even thought, like, is there some Sean Kemp there because he could jump out the gym? The guy who comes closest to me, and I think people don't match Zion on to him because he has a reputation of as not being, like, as hard as some of the other guys, is Blake Griffin. I know that's not a great comparison. There is no great comparison. And see, this is where I think they're wrong, and a lot of other NBA analysts are wrong as well. And yes, for a while, I really thought that Zion Williamson was just a player that nobody else was like. There was no Zion Williamson before Zion Williamson, but I think there is. And I think everybody's forgetting about this one player. And not only that, I really and truly believe that this comparison matches Zion Williamson in terms of height, athleticism, body type, size, college ability, college teammates, draft pick, and potential future in the NBA. Zion Williamson is more like a small forward, who's too big to play small forward, but so athletic that it's unmatched in the NBA world. I would imagine that closer to the beginning of the season, Zion will probably lose some weight. Through training camp, through workouts, he's not going to be as heavy as people make it out to be, in my opinion. And right now, Zion is estimated to be weighing around 285 pounds. So if he's going to lose weight, we're going to have to see if that happens or not. But I can't see him staying at 285 pounds and only being 6 foot 7 in a league where you have to play 82 games per season. And if you make the postseason, even more. I personally believe that no matter how athletic you are, I can't see you being that heavy at that height and continuing to stay healthy throughout a career. If Zion Williamson had a rookie season of 19 points per game, 11 rebounds, 1 steal, half a block and 3.6 assists shooting 49% from the field and only around 25% from 3, I would say that those numbers are insanely correct in how I predict Zion Williamson will play next season in his rookie year. Those are the exact numbers of Larry Johnson. The man that I believe is insanely close to Zion Williamson in terms of height, weight, and freakish athletic ability. In terms of physical attributes, I don't think there is any closer comparison than Larry Johnson. And if you didn't watch Larry Johnson play, he was a literal freak. 
which is the way and the term that people use to describe Zion Williamson. He was 6 foot 6 at 250 pounds and he had insane athleticism. I mean you can see the highlights but you just don't understand how freakishly athletic he was, similar to a guy that we know. And just like Zion, he was also a number one overall pick with insane hype surrounding him. It's not Zion Williamson hype, but obviously there was no social media around when Larry Johnson was in the league. Imagine Larry Johnson with Ball is Life mixtapes, elite mixtapes, overtime videos, YouTube videos, ESPN highlights. I believe that if he was coming out of college today, he would, to me, have the same hype as what Zion Williamson has today entering the NBA. To me, when I was breaking down the comparison with Zion Williamson, I don't believe there is anyone other than Larry Johnson that you compare him to. And this is why. While Sean Kemp showed freakish athleticism, he was also 3-4 to four inches taller than Zion Williamson. Not to mention, 55 pounds lighter than Zion Williamson's listed weight, which actually may be a benefit to Sean Kemp, as having a lighter frame allowed him to be so athletic. We saw what Sean Kemp became once he put on weight, and he couldn't jump or run anything like the way he did when he first entered the league. And that is what kind of scares me about what Zion Williamson could be in the league. Once again, I think the other player that people compare Zion Williamson to is Blake Griffin, and I don't see any comparison there at all. Blake Griffin is a far better facilitator even entering the league than Zion Williamson, and assists the ball like not many big men could in the NBA. Blake Griffin was also not a great defender, even though he was freakishly athletic, and he was also 6 foot 10. I mean, RJ Barrett is listed at 6 foot 7, and you can see that Zion is a little bit taller than RJ Barrett, who's also listed at 6 foot 7. So I would probably say that Zion is playing closer to 6 foot 8, maybe 6 9 at most, but even at that height, that is not near a Sean Kemp or Blake Griffin. Then you have the LeBron James comparison. And literally, apart from just being an athletic freak, there is no comparison between LeBron and Zion Williamson. The primary comparison here is literally hype. Hype is literally what makes the Zion Williamson and LeBron James comparison. They're both entering the league as the first overall pick, they both wore a white suit, but in terms of play style, they are completely different. Of course he has the athleticism and all the tools to put it together, there is no comparison between LeBron and Zion Williamson, and anybody that tells you that there is, is literally just falling into the hype train. Lastly, you've got Charles Barkley. Barkley was 6 foot 6, which means there is nobody like Charles Barkley. Barkley was 6 foot 6 at 252 pounds. That is where you can relate Barkley and Zion Williamson in terms of the weight. And when you put it together, Barkley was quite athletic, even at his frame of 6 foot 6 and 250 pounds. But when you think about it, he was 250 pounds. That is a lot smaller than what Zion Williamson is at 285 pounds. But if you've never heard the Charles Barkley story of how Moses Malone made him transform himself and his body to actually lose weight, I believe that we're going to have to see a similar thing with what Zion Williamson will do in his time in the NBA. Because like I said at the beginning of the video, being that heavy at that size, you can't last 82 games per season. So what's the, um, in terms of weight, the largest you played at and then like post well, in college, career the, as well? The college career, uh, I was between 290 and 300 the entire time. And you know, the thing that most people don't say, the, the biggest influence in my basketball career has been Moses Malone. And I pull Moses aside. And I suppose, why am I not getting to play? And Moses, you know, he, he's really brutal. He said, you fat and you lazy, young fellow. You fat and you lazy. I'm like, oh, I'm fat and I'm lazy. He said, you need to lose some weight. He says, you want to work hard, I'll help you. Big, big Mo, Big Mo, Big Mo, I'll help you. And uh, he was great. He says, and I think at that time, I was like 290. He says, I want you to lose 10 pounds. So I lose 10 pounds, I'm 280. He said, I want you to get to 270 now. I get to 270, and now I'm like, okay, I'm in, you can tell I'm in shape now, and I'm getting to play. He says, get to 260. At this point, I'm starting to like, really start to kick some butt. I'm starting to play well. He can play, obviously, extended periods of time. And he says, I want you to get to 250. I'm really rolling right now. And then I get to, he said, get to 240. He said, I want to experiment. 
And I got to 240, but I didn't feel strong and explosive. He says, no, 250, 250 is your weight. And that's what I played my entire career at. So let's look at what Larry Johnson did before reaching the NBA. Obviously, he was the first overall pick in the NBA, but before then, he won the National Player of the Year honors in his final year at UNLV. Zion Williamson won the National Player of the Year honors in his freshman year at Duke University. Both players projected and drafted number one overall. And we've already discussed their physique. So let's talk about something else. Did you know that two of Larry Johnson's teammates were also taken in the top 12 of the 1991 NBA draft? Does that sound like anybody else we know? Zion Williamson was in a very similar mold and played a very similar role to Larry Johnson in college as he was already surrounded by RJ Barrett and Cam Reddish. Think about this, both players playing alongside two other potential top 10 NBA draft prospects. In Zion Williamson's one and done season in college, in 30 minutes per game, Zion Williamson averaged 22.6 points per game. 1.8 blocks, 2 steals, 2 assists, 9 rebounds, shooting 64% from the free throw line, 33% from 3, 68% as a field goal percentage on 13 field goal attempts per game. Let's match that up with Larry Johnson. In 31 minutes per game, Larry Johnson averaged 22.7 points per game, 1 block, 2 steals, 3 assists, 11 rebounds, shooting 81% from the free throw line, 35% from three, and 66% as a field goal percentage on 13 field goal attempts per game. The numbers are very, very similar. They were both freakishly athletic. They both weighed at a similar weight, obviously Zion being a little bit heavier. The comparison is there in terms of height, stats, weight, physique, and future potential on the court. Especially because you can compare Larry Johnson playing alongside two top 10 NBA prospects as well as Zion Williamson being in the exact same position. If I'm being honest with you, and I know I'm going to receive a lot of hate for this, but I don't see Zion Williamson transforming the NBA into being the greatest player in the league. I believe that the hype surrounding Zion has truly elevated what he could be in the NBA to the LeBron James status, which I believe is just unfair. Don't get me wrong, I believe that Zion Williamson is a freak. He is amazing. He will show us and give us incredible highlights. But I don't see him transforming the NBA. Even though when you look at the media nowadays, you'd almost expect him to be that great, just because of the hype surrounding him. And that is not a knock on Zion Williamson, because not many players in the league will be that great. I believe he'll be an all-star for many seasons, but I don't believe he'll be as great as people make him out to be. And I believe if he's anything like Larry Johnson, that is a great thing. Because Larry Johnson was a freak. And Larry Johnson was a great player in this league. Now if you enjoy these types of videos and you want more other NBA comparisons, be sure to smash that like button so I know. Comment down below what other NBA comparisons you'd like me to make. It doesn't have to be a rookie and a current player. It can be two current players. For example, it can be a player like Dwayne Wade and Donovan Mitchell. I can make a video on that, comparing the two. It can be sort of a reincarnation type of series. Let me know down below if you'd want to see that. With that said, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. And with that said, I am out. Peace.